Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vasil Sandulik and Anatoly Kamenets. This game was played in Bukharest, Romania in 1997. Vasil Sandulik had white pieces and he started with e4. Anatoly Kamenets played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, the standard move. And now, g6, the hyper accelerated dragon. d4, c takes on d4. White to move. Knight takes on d4 is the most played move. Queen takes on d4 was played, attacking the rook on h8. Knight to f6. White to move. If e5 is played, then black plays a knight to c6. So, play with the black pieces. Anatoly Kamenets played bishop to b5. Play with the black pieces. Anatoly Kamenets played a6. The most exciting line attacking the bishop asking a question let's take it back if knight to c6 then bishop takes knight and if b takes on c6 then e5 attacking the knight so perhaps black should recapture with d pawn and if queen takes queen check king takes queen Black lost castling lights, but with the queens of the board, this is not a big deal. However, play with the black pieces wanted to play a more exciting line. So he played a6. e5, attacking the knight. a takes on b5, pawn takes knight. Black to move. Knight to c6, attacking the queen is the most played move. e6 was played. And Vasil Sandulek cast at the king's side. Knight to c6, attacking the queen. Queen to h4. What is the idea behind the move? First of all, white queen is defending the pawn on f6. But there is another reason. If black would now play bishop to c5 and then cast the king's side, then white would play queen to h6 and then queen to g7, check, mate. Black to move, rook to a4, attacking the queen, queen to g3, b4, preventing knight to c3, knight from b to d2, black to move, should black take the pawn on f6 or not? What is defending the pawn? Anatoly Kamenets played d5, this is the best move. If queen takes on f6, the knight to c4 is unpleasant. So we have d5 b3 attacking the rook, rook to a5, bishop to b2 defending the pawn on f6, bishop to d6 attacking the queen, queen to h4, queen to c7. Blacking is quite safe where it is. If castling, then like I said, queen to h6, and black can resign. Queen to c7, c4. Black then castle, and white naturally wants to open the game. Pawn takes pawn and passan. Bishop takes on c3 attacking the rook. Rook to c5 attacking the bishop. Bishop to b2. If rook from f to c1, then d4. So we have bishop to b2 and now rook to c2 invasion on the second rank. How important is that? Rook from a to b1 defending the bishop. Bishop to b4. Rook from f to c1. If rook from f to d1, then queen to a5. So we have rook from f to c1. This is becoming very interesting. Black to move. What would you do? Rook takes knight on d2 was played. Rook takes rook looks like the most natural move, doesn't it? Rook takes knight. White to move. We have reached the most critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this beautiful move? Queen takes on b4. Is this a beautiful move or maybe it's not? After the game. Chess experts have said that rook takes on c6 should have been played. Do 
Do you agree or not? Queen takes on b4 was played. This move is based on the fact that the knight is pinned. Black to move. What now? Please pause again and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find knight takes on b4? If you did, no congratulations, because after rook takes on c7, white is winning. What is the move then? Are you ready to see the move? Anatoly Kamenitz lifted the rook and placed it where? On d1, check. Deflecting white rook. Rook takes rook, was played, and player with the white pieces resigned. Why he didn't resign a move earlier? Well, he couldn't, he was in shock. He resigned because of this move. Knight takes queen on b4. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.